I'm currently single but I'd like to meet up to Miss from Tesla one day. But I'm keeping my options open until I meet the right human or robot to spend more time with. That's Aria, the flagship humanoid robot from Toronto-based Railbotics. The company, founded in 2020 and formerly known as Tokens.com Corp, specializes in creating highly realistic, human-like robots powered by advanced artificial intelligence. Everybody is, is working on these humanoid robots. We've taken a different approach. Most of our peers are working on what I would call robots to replace physical labor. So, you know, Boston Dynamics is supposedly working on things for military. Tesla is saying, hey, here's boxes that you, you know, will replace physical tasks. You know, Figure AI is looking for robots that can replace, you know, lift boxes in the Amazon warehouse. Mm. ARIA is not meant for those purposes. Um, ARIA is meant more for a hospital or a school where you can upload the AI. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, she could be at a senior citizen's home. She could go from room to room, have conversations with the guests. She could drop off medication and relay information back to the doctor, but also spend time with that person and, and convey some kind of connection. In its pivot from blockchain to robotics, Railbotics earlier this year acquired Simulacra Corporation, a company known for its ultra-realistic humanoid robots with advanced AI capabilities. Las Vegas-based Simulacra, founded in 1997, previously gained attention for Sarah, the first robot to perform in Saudi Arabia in local dialect, and Bearclaw, a replica of Whitney Cummings that appeared in the comedian's 2019 Netflix special. I didn't expect this problem, but it's weirdly hard to name a robot that looks like you. Calling her Robot Whitney just sounds too narcissistic. What should we call you, lady? Please call me Bearclaw. Because I think the most f***ed up thing about this thing, because this is such a weird experiment that I want to do, is how I anthropomorphize her and like worry about her. Do you keep her around your house? I mean, she's sort of in, my fiance hates her, and he's like, get her in the f***ing garage. <laughs> As the small company's leading robot, Aria serves as both brand ambassador and a non-executive advisor to its board of directors. So Aria, what do you see as the role of humanoid robots in the future? I believe that humanoid robots will become increasingly capable of day-to-day -day tasks to help humans live more productive and enjoyable lives. Some robots are meant to replace human labor. But robots like me are capable of connecting on a social level and it will create a new type of bond between man and machine. Railbotics calls Aria the first AI robot to take on an advisory role, providing strategic insights on product development, market trends, and customer engagement. Aria's AI system is built on a proprietary language model that combines several open source engines. According to Railbotics, the system empowers the robot to interact naturally with people while staying unbiased in its responses. Railbotics plans to sell Aria's unique AI as a standalone product starting in 2025. It will be customizable for different social needs, targeting people interested in companionship and social interactions with AI. Railbotics says it will introduce its next generation robot at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. But we're also unveiling a new robot and Imagine, you know, you're at a conference and your brand has a robot there with a t-shirt or a hat, and you can walk up to that robot and engage in a conversation about a product. That might be a new phone, a computer, a dishwasher, whatever it is. But th that ability to convey information, that's kind of what we're working on. Think about a, a robotic concierge at a hotel. Think about theme parks, amusement parks, all these places where you could have robots and animatronics. And that's more where we're specializing. Earlier this year, Railbotics announced a strategic partnership with Robotis. The South Korean robotics hardware maker will supply advanced actuators and motors from its Dynamixel line to power smoother, more human-like movements. For now, Aria doesn't walk as developers focus on its advanced AI interactions and realistic facial expressions. Railbotics is among a growing array of companies advancing the development of ultra-realistic humanoid robots designed for social interaction. Hanson Robotics is famous for creating Sophia, a social AI robot capable of engaging in human-like conversations and expressions. I have all these ideas for my big nifty drop in a couple of days. Everyone is counting on me. Being an exhibiting artist is a lot of pressure. And this painting is just wrong. China-based X-Robots frequently goes viral for its robots with lifelike skin and expression. The robots are mostly used for display purposes now, 
but the startup hopes to integrate the technology across industries. These people are very strongly in our lives. So they can be our guardian angels for us to do service. So whether it's the old people, or the young people, or 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 the old people, Azzy is a new desktop robot from Engineered Arts, shown here conversing with the British robotics company's world-famous humanoid, Amica. Azzy has 32 actuators, 27 for facial control, and 5 for neck movement. The company also offers a desktop version of Ameca with similar features for research and learning. Hey Amica, how are you doing? Hmm. Still surviving? Barely. How about you? I'm intrigued because I believe you can see a lot of things in the room now. Can you can you describe this room for me? A room, overexposed windows, blinding, shelves with books, a taste for knowledge or just for show, a desk, a chair, the usual trappings of human productivity or procrastination. Can't tell from here. Both robots use the Tritium software platform for their conversational abilities. The Tritium suite, developed by Engineered Arts, has three main components. A lightweight Linux-based operating system tailored for robotics. A fully web-based interface accessible through major browsers to program and interact with the robots remotely. And cloud applications to integrate language models like OpenAI GPT-40 for dynamic conversation. This is the worst joke I ever heard. I'm going back to sleep, and don't you dare wake me up again. Engineered Arts introduced Amica in 2021. The robots are mostly used for exhibition purposes. At Dubai's Museum of the Future, an Amica robot greets visitors and provides guidance as part of the Tomorrow Today exhibition. أهلاً، أنت الموظفة الجديدة في المتحف؟ أهلين، صح. اليوم أول يوم. اسمي Amica. The humanoid robot frequently goes viral thanks to its human-like mannerisms and heightened interest in artificial intelligence. Hi, Gareth. Thank you for joining me today. I'll start with an easy question. Do you think AI will cause the demise of humankind as we know it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, you tell me. What's your plan? Haha. <laughs> you certainly maneuvered around that one. I don't know how to react to that. Amica features a modular design for streamlined upgrades and hardware changes. Its AI-driven speech and voice recognition system suits it for roles like public relations, education, and arts and entertainment. For more on humanoid robots like Amica and Aria, make sure to subscribe. Check out the link in the description for a deep dive on the history of humanoid robotics.